Dow futures fall more than 200 points as Wall Street gets set for another down session. Stock futures traded lower Thursday, building on the losses from the previous session, as rate and recession fears dented market sentiment. Tech layoffs bleed into 2023. Why companies are firing workers? More than 154,000 tech workers were laid off last year as consumer spending shifted and the Federal Reserve continued to hike interest rates. Buffalo Bills to play in London during 2023 NFL regular season. Opponent, date and time still to be determined. First Geekbench scores for new Mac Mini with M2 Pro surfaces, beats M1 Max. Geekbench scores for the newly announced Mac Mini with M2 and M2 Pro chips have revealed a significant increase in performance compared to the Hertz is bringing thousands of EVs and chargers to the city of Denver in a broad new partnership. Hertz will add more than 5,000 electric vehicles to its Denver rental fleet, will install public EV chargers and will offer training in and around the city. Biden's inner circle thinks documents flap is mostly DC elite making DC noise as they prepare re-election run. President Joe Biden was planning to launch a campaign sometime in the period after his February 7th State of the Union address before word leaked about the documents found in his home. The countries where population is declining. China recorded its first population decline in 60 years on Tuesday. But it is not the only country where the number of people is falling. U.S. and Germany head for showdown over tanks for Ukraine. Ukraine pleaded on Thursday for the West to finally send it heavy tanks as the defense chiefs of the United States and Germany headed for a showdown over weapons that Kyiv says could decide the fate of the war. Binance named as counterparty in FinCEN order against Bitslato. Bitslato is accused of laundering $700 million by U.S. authorities.